Till Preferences Tax Settings. The system is set to default to the standard VAT rate and assumes that new items are subject to VAT by default. If your products are subject to a lower VAT rate then change the VAT percentage to that amount. If your products are not subject to VAT then untick these boxes. If only a few items in your stock range are of a lower or zero VAT rate you can enter this within the stock manager when inputting your stock. Receipt printing in this section you have the option of customer receipt types. Either A4, we recommend a laser jet printer, mainly used for trade or warehouse style outlets, or slip receipt printing, produced through a thermal printer. Firstly, select printer type. If using full A4 receipt, this will use your Windows default printer. The set A4 margin should not require adjusting. Then untick the disable receipt printing unless you don't wish to produce receipts for sales. Then you have the option for print to confirm receipt printing. This allows you only to print receipts if requested. You now have the option of a full itemized receipt. If selected this will produce receipts with item descriptions and price per line. Lastly, you have an option to show VAT content of sale on the receipt. Till parameters. If your sale prices are VAT inclusive, then make sure this box is ticked. If your sale prices are plus VAT, then untick this box. Then make sure show VAT content on slip receipts is ticked. If you tick prompt to confirm void on single items, this means that during a sale and you wish to void a line, you will be asked to confirm your line void. Please note that if you wish to void a wholesale, you will always be asked to confirm the void. If allow session long global discounts is ticked, this will allow you directly from the sales screen to apply a percentage discount for that terminal until either you cancel the global discount or you shut down the software. So if you have a 20% off for one day then apply the discount to the global discount button will apply 20% off all products for that period. Here you have the option to open the cash drawer during a debit or credit card payment as some cash drawers have a receipt slip opening in the front of them. If prompt to add stock when item code is not recognised is ticked you will be prompted during the sale if a barcode scanned is not recognised. You will be asked if you wish to add the item to the stock manager. If it is not ticked, you will just be alerted that the item was not found. If enable fast numeric entry is ticked, this saves you inputting a decimal point within a sale amount during a sale only. For instance, input 99, this will come out as 99 pence instead of inputting 0.99 or inputting 999 becomes £9.99 instead of inputting 9.99. This is a time saver. If prompt to update stock levels when returning items is ticked, you will be prompted during a refund if you wish to return the refunded item back onto the system. If not ticked, the refunded item automatically be added back onto the system. If you tick allow stock levels to go negative, if you sell an item without inputting your stock invoice onto the system first, the item will show in a negative stock level. Then when you input your invoice, the stock held in store and the stock on the system will match. Reports. 
you can adjust the amount of days your sales records are kept on the system. Customer account invoices and statements. You can set account only invoices to start at a specific invoice number. You are also able to adjust the amount of months your account invoices and statements are kept for. Payment methods and surcharges. You can set the terminal to default to a specific payment type only. You may wish for an account or cash only sales terminal. Lastly, you can set either a percentage or a monetary value surcharge on certain methods of payment. Some charge a percentage on credit card payments. Users and system login. We will talk through these settings during the user section of this demonstration video. Lastly, press save general settings. Now click backup and custom. System backup. Create a folder where you wish to backup your EPOS database files. Then tick backup at system shutdown. Copy server. If you are setting up a network EPOS system, set up your server first, then at each client, press copy server. This will copy all your server settings onto each unit. Custom transaction fields. There are three custom transaction fields you can set up for any purpose. You can input name, address, phone number for delivery purposes. These details will be printed on the sales receipt. Set the field lengths to suit your desired field names. Custom payment type. This can be used, say for online sales that you wish to import through the terminal. You also have the option to open the cash drawer. Lastly, please save general settings.